Hey, welcome back to TC Disc Golf. And today we're gonna to be talking about the wildest addicts. Wildest addicts comes in two different types of plastic. The landslide, which is a little bit more firm, kind of feels like Innova's DX plastic. It's a, their base plastic. And it did come in the prototype plastic. Now both of these are from Gateway, so neither of these plastics feel like the new landslide and the new lava. But I do have to say that if this disc is ever remade, it will feel way better because of the partnership that they have their new manufacturer's plastics are way better. This disc is a mid that is very straight with a little bit stable fade to the end of it. It's one that I think of as being like a buzz with a little bit more fade to it. Starts very straight and will take on almost any angle uh, with the one exception is that for the most part unless you're putting a ton of torque on it on an Anheuser, it is gonna fight its way out. But it has a nice flight to it and will take the most angle, getting you past most bends. This is a disc that I found kind of in my journey of replacing the West Side Pine, that the pine just simply didn't exist or was really hard to get a hold of. That began me searching. And around the same time I began this search, my friend who at the time was huge into disc craft actually gave me a buzz to try. And so I was trying the buzz while I was on vacation in North Carolina, and this is where I found Wild Disc. I actually discovered them through a post on social media and I found out about their disc, The Addicts, which was which they rate as a 5502. And I thought to myself, this is perfect. This can be a good replacement for the pine. And I will be 100% honest and upfront. On one end, we had the buzz, which is a pretty straight flyer, something that could take a lot of angles but would still have some stability to come out of it. And then on the other end, you had the Pine, which is an overstable, glidier disc. And somewhere right in the middle is where the Attic sat. It definitely wasn't overstable. It would take the angles I wanted and still finish out. But at the same time, if I took and I threw a buzz on Anheuser, especially a force over, it was not coming back where the addicts would. And that's what kept it in my bag. And what I ended up doing for a long time was I would use the addicts for shots that I knew I wanted to be a little bit more straighter and I knew I wanted that dependability of the finish. And I would throw the buzz 
whenever I wanted something that would keep uh, keep turning for me, or if the gap was just so narrow at the end of the flight, I didn't want it to hit a tree towards the end. And then eventually, as I got better at throwing, I stopped throwing the bus. The Addix is such a good disc, and I know that for a lot of people, that double bead felt weird. But my friend Greg Barber, he told me that this was just an older style of mold. Now, whether that's true or not, it didn't feel bad to me. I didn't mind the double bead. What this disc did for me was give me a dependable mid that I was able to throw for a long time. And then I complemented it later with an understable mid. And I kept throwing zones eventually, and now the angler. There's only a handful of these that are available, and there's some shops across the country that are still selling them. But this particular brand for Wild Disc from Gateway is not gonna be made because Gateway is not making discs for Wild right now. That puts this disc in kind of an interesting space. It's one of those discs that now I started on this journey of finding something to replace the pine. I found a replacement for the pine, but I have to wait to see what Wild will do next to help me replace the addicts. And I'm not worried about throwing the buzz. The buzz is always gonna be able to make a comfortable return back to my bag. But the addicts is gonna stay in my bag until the discs are either too beat up or until I lose them. Or maybe Wild makes a replacement and then I can throw that. It's a really good disc and I'm a little bit sad to see it kind of be in that tenuous place of do I have it or do I not have it? Am I able to get more? That being said, Wild is doing a lot of really exciting things and I know on the horizon even more exciting things. As soon as Wild comes out with some sort of replacement or something that in my mind fits that same spot in my bag as the Addicts has, then I will let you guys know. And below in the comments, let me know, what discs did you used to throw that you no longer throw? And why did you stop? If there's a disc that you want me to review, if you'd like to see a review of some of the discs that I used to throw, let me know in the comments below as well. Share this video with your friends, like it, it only helps me out. And as always, I will see you in the next video.